Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Today we're talking about your favorite of mine, just fam like. Well, she did this video a little while ago about going to Nashville and something went down. Some dangerous expedition or something and she just had to vlog about it. It's called Girls Trip Takes Scary Turn for the Worse. For the Worse. <laughs> Police involved. Oh my gosh. You know what I like about these videos is that there's often a couple angles, specifically when it comes to these wee agency videos where they're just like paying for the trip, they're bringing them out and they're they're each vlogging their own little thing. It's a bunch of different mommy vloggers out there. Um, and you remember when Micah went with Bits of Bish and Tiny Tiffany Beast into London and Micah walked into this like really fancy place. She's like, you can smell the lunch meat. <laughs> I'll never forget that moment. And so this, these types of videos are like breaking them down because there's multiple angles from different vloggers about what went down. And they're usually just, honestly, with Jess Fam and her friends, it's about getting drunk and hanging out and just doing, I don't even know what the point of this trip is. I don't know. Let's watch it together. Let's get down on it. Get funky. Let's go. So before I do that, I wanted to show you guys a couple of TikToks from Jess's TikTok that are crazy because this is what kind of brought her back up to me. But this kid's like almost, I don't know if you saw that, that kid almost died. And Jess fam, for whatever reason, her, her cameras always catch this later. First of all, why are your kids so damn close to the road? which is crazy to me. They're so little. And the fact that you weren't there to protect them, if that basketball net actually were to hit her child in the head, that could have been really bad. I'm, and I know I, I, I don't want to get crazy, but you could have broke his neck, could have cracked his skull, whatever. That's so pretty. And she just puts it up like it's funny. So then she does stuff of TikTok like this. To the plan B I took in 2016. She thinks this is so funny. So basically what she's telling her audience here is that to the plan B, which is the the pill that you take if you don't want to have a child, right? You, you Oh, I think we had unprotected sex and I don't want to get pregnant. Plan B is to help you to, you know, basically unpregnant yourself. And so she's laughing here uh, to the plan B I took. And this is the girl who comes in the, the picture and she's like, oh, I'm living. And the song is I'm out here living, though. I'm out here living, though. So Jess fam thinks it's funny to tell everybody that she wanted to terminate her pregnancy, um, and but it didn't work. So whoops, and then, but she's like, I'm out here living. She thinks this is a flex. For whatever reason, Jess Fam's TikTok, and I'm gonna do an entire video just on her TikToks, is just all about her and like this type of content, being a teen mom and all that kind of stuff and how everybody, it, it's such a weird flex. But this isn't just something you should put out there. I don't think this is funny. I don't think it ever was funny. I don't think any parent who ever tells their kid that they're a mistake is funny. Like, I'm not saying it's the end of the world, and some people do, some parents do say it's a whoopsie or whatever the case may be, but, you know, happy accident, well, we're glad you're here. Just stop. Because I don't, I, don't, I can't understand a kid anywhere in the world who's going to be like, huh, I wasn't wanted. Funny guys, jokes on you. It doesn't make any sense. And to put this out there like it's some kind of weird flex is so weird. And Jess Fem does this all the time. She's got her fans up in there saying, I thought you planned her. I thought you were planned. And she says, this is Jess Fam's whole thing about this whole, this whole situation. She's like, she was planned. She just wasn't planned at the right time or some shit. She says something like we wanted a kid, just not then. So she wasn't planned is what you're saying. But she uses that because she gets a bunch of ratio. But the reason she does videos like this is because she gets 2.3 million hits on a video like that compared to a normal one. That's like 75,000 or 675,000, right? She does it because it's provocative. But it's not cool, Jess. I don't care what you think. I don't care what everybody wants to say is that, you know, don't shame moms for whatever, but don't do this. Okay. Stop saying your kids are mistakes and then laughing about it. It's so stupid and I hate you. Anyway, let's get to her video. So the bunch of these douchebags go to Nashville and we're going to find out why. I think this is the trip where that other stalker found her. Right. So maybe she's talking about that. I don't know. Let's get to it. Let's talk about it. I debated on if I would, if I was gonna, even going to talk about this because I didn't know if, I don't know. Does that sound familiar to you guys? I wasn't going to do this video. I mean, I just was debating in my mind about, uh, here it is though. You weren't debating shit. You're going to tell this story. You're going to do the video because you will take anything for content. Absolutely anything is content. 
These people love when weird things happen to them. Could be dangerous, could be a car accident. Could be. It's so weird to watch these family vloggers like uh, Ruby from Eight Passengers when there's an accident. How giddy they get when there's something. How giddy they get when their kids get hurt so they can take them to the hospital. Because it's, oh, can't wait to film that and put it on the internet. Can't wait to go to this funeral and put it on the internet. Everything is content. When it's outside of the normal shit that they do, they get massive bumps of hits because they'll, they'll film it and show everybody. And it's inappropriate. So, yeah. I just, back to thinking about it more, I think I do want to talk about it and just explain what happened last night. Thanks. Well, golly gee, good for us. Because I never would have thought that this, something like this could happen to me. I can't wait to find out what this, what could not have happened to Jess fam. Like everything that this woman does is like, couldn't have happened to you. What? What couldn't have happened to you? Aliens? Did they come down from space? What happened? Did somebody trip down a sewer and meet the Ninja Turtles? I can't wait that this would not have happened to Jess. Jess! 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 Oh, gotta dance. Oh, I hate when they put the music in and I have to dance to it. Can't stop dancing. Oh. Come on, man. Uh... So she starts talking to this camera and people are probably walking by like judgy eyes because they should be judging eyes. I will judgy eye you too. And she just chickened out. Why are you chicken out, Jess? Your whole life is on the internet. You just told everybody your daughter was a mistake and you have no shame in that. But there's shame because people are looking at you in an airport. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Why did you put it in? Damn it. <laughs> Oh, thank God. I am in Nashville. You can't really Yay. tell because there's an airport. Actually. Why Nashville? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Nashville. I've been to Nashville. But like, if you're going to do a drunk fest weekend party, why Nashville? What's there? Go somewhere fun. Come up to Canada for a, win for a winter weekend party. We got booze and shit. Started opening the, opening up this vlog earlier, but I'm traveling by myself 100% alone. Are you traveling by yourself? And I've done this for 11 years, and for some reason I just feel weird like vlogging literally by myself. Luxurally, she, she feels uncomfortable vlogging by herself because she thinks she looks dumb, and it's, she's right. But again, we'll make the shittiest videos on TikTok and doesn't seem to care who watches them. That is weird to me. You know what? Screw that. I'm going to own up to it. Everybody's looking at me right now. What do you mean own up to it? What kind of... What? You're going to own up... What? Stop being dumb! But come on. It's 2021. Everybody knows what a YouTuber is nowadays. And what? what kind of phrase is everybody so they're gonna walk by you looking at camera that must be a youtuber nobody can, they probably think that person must be crazy that's what they think or maybe they're facetiming with their mom nobody thinks that you're dumb you know, i just landed in nashville i have never been here before and we are having a girls trip me and a couple of my favorite girlfriends the world either just landed here or about to land here two of them are already here and already at the airbnb every female family vlogger does this with her fingers we're just here now and we're just here like and subscribe, please, or don't, just don't. I'm waiting right now for my manager who flies in pretty much the same time as me and we're gonna go. The manager she's talking about is the manager from the Wii Agency. The Wii Agency, well, let's just say we got some beef. I'll tell you about it a little later. I'm just consulting with some professionals before I do so. But the Wii Agency is one of the, the is the is the agency and the and the management responsible for all these family vloggers. They're the ones who represent a ton of these people, get them all the brand deals and all that stuff. And we talked about them before, about how if you use your children, you get more money. And that's why they do it. If you don't use your kids, you get less money. And that's why they do it. They're Airbnb together, and then two more of them are joining us later this evening. There's a two-hour time difference from California to here. I actually thought it was three, but apparently it's only two. Fun fact, I actually learned today that Tennessee apparently has two different time zones in it. How bizarre. So, so like, totally there's like a time difference in from my California here, and I was like, totally two hours behind. <laughs> this fun fact, and this whole video is so super long, and it's gonna say a bunch of shit. <laughs> People look at me funny because I'm a YouTuber, I'm eating, I'm gonna check it out. Oh my god, you just do it, you look at the so nice. <laughs> like... <laughs> 
I hate wearing those wigs. I just got off the plane after a long day of traveling. First flight took off at 7. Why do you keep saying you just got off the plane? We got it. We got that part. 15 this morning. It is now 4.20. Nobody cares. Okay. In the afternoon, but that's adjusted time. That's like Tennessee time and California time. I don't even know. All I know is that I am exhausted and I am ready to start my, I would say weekend, but on Monday. <laughs> weekend starts on a monday this is not this is so telling of these family vlogs they don't like a monday to them is not a monday for regular people like you get you know you had a weekend you're gonna go back to work they did just wake up and i don't know what they do <laughs> tracy willis which i think is the uh ancient lady who was with them she's the grandmother of the group who was from we agency thank you oh great Sunkissed used gum on the sidewalk is here. And Brittany Morrow, mm -hmm, bunch of great ones. <laughs> oh, and here's Kira, all your favorite. This is why I like doing this one, because now I know a little bit more about Kira from doing the OK Baby stuff, and I realized how bad she is. This ought to be good, because we know that she's super white girl, sloppy drunk, and it's fun to watch. <laughs> And then they put this little Hannah, boop, Hannah Walker. <laughs> I think Hannah is the one from the podcast with Kira. And I think they were like, uh, who's this? I don't think Hannah was invited. She doesn't even go here. And so they went, Hannah Walker, like for two seconds in the little blip. blip. We're home. I'm down to go and own that <laughs> Talia's life just lit up before her eyes. Talia's life just lit up before her eyes. I won't allow it. That doesn't make any sense. I don't even know what she said. They're drunk. We need to make this a thing. Oh shit, that looks that looked good. I'm not gonna lie. Look, the rest of them just want alcohol. We just want ice cream. Oh. <laughs> we want ice cream. Can we make an executive decision? We're here for the milkshake. Okay, we're coming back to that. They want alcohol. That's what you're there for, to drink. To literally drink. Disappear and see how long it takes them to notice. Okay. <laughs> Is this a Jess fam or a Jess? Just, just. Is this a Jess, 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 or a Jess, Jess, Jessen? Jess, Jess video. Well, yeah, it's the same. Just, hey, just, Jess. Jess. Hey, just, Jess. I don't have like an intro. Just, Jess. Like, we don't need no intro. It's self explanatory. Just, Jess. You give enough untapped. This is what it is, where it is, what we're doing. No, I don't care. Stop talking. You suck at talking. Let's get a whole fit look. Let's see. Wow. First of all, no. Second of all, no, no, no. She's wearing what looks like. You guys ever seen what was that show with Ted Bundy? Not Ted Bundy, Al Bundy. And his wife wore the thing. That's what she looks like. Oh, okay. <laughs> she so oh out. my goodness. So Look at this sexy. I Look, I know I'm all just shapes as well, but relax. Chill. Dressed by these females, and you. But we're here. We're in Nashville. It's a lively Monday night, and we're doing things. We're doing things. Are you? Thank you. Hi. Since we got to the Airbnb, but we booked this awesome Airbnb, um, and we all just like kind of totes like just for a little. We just totes just like liked and stuff. <laughs> and then we decided to get all dressed up. <laughs> look at Brittany, hey girl. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna point out that you look like that normally, like when you're gonna pick your kids up and shit. So you didn't try hard enough. That and that's okay that's the grandmother from we agency who's hanging out with girls like literally less than half her age i'm not kidding she could be their mothers and she's she's the one that pays for all these things though so she's the one who gets these together and so they go on these trips to create content i don't and that's it there's not like a special reason for it they just go do some shit they're like look how Look how much money we have. That's all these trips are for. Look at, look at how little we do with our lives that we can just go drink on a Monday and a Tuesday in Nashville. That's it. That's the video. I know. We got together real quick. I don't really know what we're on the lookout for. And there's no shame for grandmas because a, a lot of older ladies in my chat and they are beautiful and gorgeous. So I'm just saying, do you go and party with 20 year olds in Nashville? <laughs> how do you even keep up? Like, you know what I mean? 
Yeah. I'm kind of just exploring. Right? Right? Yeah. I'm a kid of cool. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't heard. I don't know anything these ladies just said. Literally, I know. Right? Should we? And everybody like is like, "What you say? No, I don't know what anything you just said there." You. The mechanical bull. I can't do it. The mechanical bull together at playlist live. Do you remember this? And I had. You guys, in your family vlogs and all the teenagers that watch this shit. I was really drunk too because I didn't remember and then the next morning I, I here's the thing they all have family vlogs every single one of these women here and when they do these videos like like what are you trying to achieve here you're trying to just like again kids watch this stuff and if this is what people want to do with their lives I get I mean that's what you want to do it's what you want I'm, I, I don't I'm I'm just an old vanilla dude. Morning, I was like, why do I have fat like. under my thigh? Oh, You're right. like, do I want to know why I have that? Oh. And it was the mechanical bull. Anywho, I don't think that's on the agenda. But if it is, so just a quick thought here from someone who's never actually been drunk in my entire life at all, ever, never once. Do you actually get to the point where you forget the things that you've done when you're drunk? I'm, and I'm not making fun. I'm just asking for real. Is that a state that a lot of people do? Like you go get so drunk that you honestly don't remember what you did. I feel like that's a little dangerous, right? Like I feel like, whoa, what if you murder somebody and you don't remember it? I feel, <laughs> be careful out there, right? In them streets. We will keep you up. Okay, there you go. Ow. Every bar you find, you gotta take a shot. Isn't that, damn. We're both Can you get out of the shot there, sun kissed drunkard? <laughs> it's like me hanging out with a bunch of teenagers drinking. It just doesn't work for me when I see like an old lady partying with young ones. I, I just feel like it's like the, the mean girl's mom, like trying to be really cool, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, I'm gonna make fun of her the whole time because I don't care. <laughs> Ooh, who's this? It's three piece. They don't even have a drummer though. Must be using tracks. Okay, not only are the drinks not necessary, I don't think I meant for this life. You don't think you're meant for this life? What partying? That's all you do, Jess fam. You're just not meant for listening to good live music because you you probably listen to hip hop and you probably listen to like JoJo Siwa and shit like that. That's a nice guitar though. Oh, yeah, they have a drummer. Nothing like filming in a bar. Good morning. Oh, thank God it's over. The forehead ratio in this picture. <laughs> Look, I know I got a big forehead too. Big forehead people unite. Wait, is this, this which channel is this? Just yes. Okay, good morning, motherfucker. So classy, Kara. You're such a class. I wish you could teach me how to be classy. Kira is just not, is also shapes. <laughs> Have friends that know the difference between your two channels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You forgot to put like a Just Just logo on the wall, loser. Morning. Did she have her, was her boob just blanked out there for some? She's time? pumping, so. <laughs> channel is this? Just Just. A friends between your two channels. Good morning. I like get her boob. She's pumping. So. She's po She's pumping. She's pumping because I think they're drinking, and so she's pumping to dump it. Right? You drink a little, pump it, get all the alcohol out of your breast milk. I think that's what they're doing. But that's weird. Doesn't she? If you're breastfeeding, do you do you travel? Like, do you leave? What is your kitty? I guess you pump, 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 and then you just like leave all the milk there enough to feed your baby for the days that you're gone, I guess. I feel that's a little bit weird. I'm just saying. You're breastfeeding and going to party with a bunch of basic bimbos in Nashville. I just, okay. I don't know. Again, I'm, I am so far removed from this type of world. I've never lived it. I think if I ever went out with people at night, I'd be like, it's nine. Are you guys, do we, can we go back now? I, <laughs> I would be the biggest loser. <laughs> that breastfeeding life. Do you was, can I share your moment yesterday when you had yeah. the pump on one side and a can of white claw? <laughs> so 
so classy. You're drinking while pumping your breast milk. You're so awesome. Why don't you just, I don't know. I just, you. The classic mama. These people are so classic. I hope all moms act like this. I guess it takes a different type of person. How are we all feeling? Nobody cares, Jess. There's one person in the room. Brittany, how are we feeling? Brittany hates Jess fam. Garen freaking deed. Hates her. Nobody likes being around Jess fam. Look at this table. What is on this table here? What are these? Snap peas? Smart water? What's this white stuff here? Okay. A little bit too much partying, I think. I didn't realize this yesterday, but look at these signs in this Airbnb. Like remember the that room says that. Remember that one time, like. But in between, Jess Fam's gonna copy this. But in every, between, everyone's gonna be like, "Remember, like that, like one time, like." That always a great story starts off with "Remember that time." Yeah, we got it. We we understood the joke and the thing. Got it. But thanks for telling us, because we're all dumb. I remember that one time. Oh, time. This Airbnb is so cute. It's like literally, I don't Le know. Like, I think we're like middle of Nashville, like downtown Nashville. We're like two blocks. Yeah. We're, we're like, 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 like. We're like, 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 like. They don't even have to say words. Just say like in a bunch of different inflections and they know what they're saying. We're like, if I can find it, yeah. I'll, I'll link it maybe. But this Will you link it so that your stalkers can find you smart? This place is super legit. We just like walked to link it. Yeah, no, they should be interested. Oh, <laughs> you should be interested. Oh, Tracy's gone. They're Clean your shit, ladies. Ew, gross. They are. Good morning, you. <laughs> beautiful. How hey, are we beautiful. Feeling? <laughs> She's like, how do these people do it? How do they party for days on end? She's like, she's gonna fall apart. <laughs> Probably fell asleep in the bathtub. I'm feeling great. She's I'm feeling good. A million bucks. So well, you look like a million dollars. Monopoly money. Someone had, and he was curious. Burn. You had liquid IV, so we all drank that last night. Oh, and you're- Liquid IV? What is that? You're drinking yours, and Brittany's drinking hers this morning too. And that stuff like really actually weird. I want to say liquid IV is probably, uh, is like a rec uh, an alcohol recovery drink. They make that shit? Wow. It's a market for everything. But we had a fun night last night, and today we're going to explore Nashville a little bit more. We actually had a reservation at this place called White Limousine, and it's like Dolly Parton's thing, like her restaurant. That I is gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so fun. So, is it? So we're gonna go do that. We're gonna try to get breakfast, even though it's one o'clock, but all of us, our schedules are all screwed up. I'm two hours behind. She's five hours behind coming from Hawaii. She flew from Hawaii to go to Nashville to drink for two to three days. That's we agency paying for that. Cause this one, Sunkissed broke ass. There's no way that this girl's gonna survive on YouTube. Im, I can't see it happening. She gets, she gets, le she gets way less views than even people. Who, she has 200,000 subscribers. She gets like 10,000 views. That's, there's something wrong there. Oh, but I feel good, surprisingly. Like, I feel you good. You pick up the, well, actually, I mean, I guess it's one o'clock now. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, good morning! And it's 12.30. But you, you like, yeah, go over right because we just woke up. Go, 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 go! Get out of line! Freaking vlog! Find some breakfast in any place they're still serving that. And then we're going to do like some more wholesome stuff today. Yeah. Wholesome. What's that supposed to mean? We're not. We're about to see. <laughs> That looks good. I'm hungry right now. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm starving. I'm about to eat this shit. Not gonna lie. Just kidding. I'm not gonna eat that. Hey, boots. I apparently made a big mistake and came to Nashville without cowboy boots. I'm a true California girl. I have never owned a pair of cowboy boots in my life. You saying that nobody wears ca uh, California boots or cowboy boots in California? Doubt it. But that is not allowed here. So I'm gonna go get some cowboy okay. boots. I don't even know like what's cute. What's Why is nobody else vlogging? Not like I don't know how to dress them. She's walking down the street with her friends, literally talking into a camera. No one else is doing it. There better be other angles of this video. I know nothing. <laughs> oh 
Oh, that those are the ones. Oh yeah. This is a Valley Girl gone to is it? Nashville. I can safely say I have never been inside of this. You're just filming everybody. Store that sells cowboy boots. Well, you can tell I was Kira in the background because they're for it. Do they even have those in California? This is gonna be so worth it for wearing it for a day. <laughs> you can tell I'm Poshmark. <laughs> I have decided I'm opening up a Poshmark. Yeah, Poshmark is now. Is that where you like sell your shit that you get from like, so it's Poshmark. Okay. So these influencers get a whole bunch of free shit. They do the video about it and then they just sell that free shit. Is that what they do? I bet you they do. Well, you know that bits of bitch does that. <laughs> Wait, bits. <laughs> what did you do with the Christmas decorations you threw in the garbage or the computer you don't use? Do you just sell it on Poshmark? Okay. No, how much do you make? Do you like sell it for just like a little bit less than stuff? <laughs> really? Holy shit. Do they know that you do that? Like the people that are giving you the product? Okay. They don't. Okay. Well, that seems a little bit icky. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to judge. Just, I, I'm just sorry. Okay. Just get back to cleaning your weird kitchen. Okay. Bye. No, no. No, no. I'll call you. Stop. Stop it. No. You're fine. Okay. Bye. Jeez. Relax. It looks so cute on you. I think we need a um, they, they, they don't. This is weird to me that women do this to women. And I get that. Women are very supportive of, of each other. And, you know, it's it's commendable. But dudes are going to be like, dude, that looks like shit, dude. No. Sorry. At least I am with my friends. I can't believe they would just lie to each other. Does Kira and her face right there look like she's telling the truth? That looks like me trying to tell my kid who just built me something at a Play-Doh that looks... I, look at the spaceship. That is amazing. That's the face she's got right there. Those actually look really cute. Let's see a walk though. Like start over there and walk to us. Oh my goodness. They're cute. It's a no. It's a no. I can talk to you. Don't, don't tap dance. Oh, how do you? No, that doesn't work. There's some that are it's so slim. I don't even have a white foot. Like shove your foot there. Oh, I like those. Actually, yeah. Oh my gosh, cute! I like those. I think I don't like. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, the right. I'm going to the Wait, I want to the right. Yay! Beautiful look. So cute. Do you literally buy a pair of boots to go walk to the restaurant at Dolly Parton's restaurant? That's what they spent $150 on. Just, again, she'll write that off. They will write it off. They get to write off everything, even that stupid, ugly leather water bottle holder she's got there. They write that shit off. The, she'll never wear those ever again. Just a pair of boots that she'll sell on Poshmark. She is ready for. I wonder too. These people that have Poshmarks. Do they write? Do they? Do they claim that on their taxes? Mm -hmm. The rooftop. You actually like look the part well. Is it um, no, no, she doesn't. That's a lie. I get that you're trying to prop up your girl. But sometimes you gotta tell your people, you know, it's just a no, you know? Red hair. It is. You look very like southern with okay, your- Okay, we get it. You wanna be in her circle. Chill! Sun-kissed weirdo. Boots now, like wow. You just did you hype me up? I went down to Nashville, a guitar in the back. I was gone. Those boots were ugly. Make it be. There's a dude here. Who's the dude? This is a ladies weekend, dude. Not welcome. The day. Who's this guy? Again, one of these guys is like still stuck in like wants to be in a metal band, but got his girlfriend pregnant. So instead they start a family vlog. <laughs> Sorry. It is a thing. <laughs> we made it to the white limousine. Say hi. I don't know. And, okay, so there's Grandma at this side. I'll link everybody's channel. Oh, down she's below so bad at the camera. Our mission to come here when we're in Nashville. Yeah. yeah. We worked our butts yeah. off for our reservation. We're yeah. Here. yeah, just get me some advertising. Shut your pie hole. Okay. We need some new people. What she said. There. What I said. Gosh. Okay, Courtney, love. Honestly, yeah. why are you in this I've even been in the but she's the reason you see all the sponsored posts on here. So if you hate it, yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, just kidding, huh? You're not kidding. 
That lady right there is responsible for the kids who get exploited on the, on the internet. She is the one that gets them the big dollars. She's the one. They love her for the money. Not me. <laughs> it's her fault. This place I think she hates them all, though, to be honest with you. What's her name? I don't even know her name. Let's call her grandma from now on, but she hates all of them. Actually owned, correct me if I'm wrong, by Dolly Parton. And everything's beautiful. That's why everything's beautiful and pink and amazing. You can tell. Look at that. We yeah, we can totally tell with the way you do your camera work. Lovely. It's just so good. Look over here. Hey, look at this stuff, everybody. It's so amazing. Look at my camera work. <laughs> See this one over here? The aperture and stuff. <laughs> See that? <laughs> it's so good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love the umbrella. Freaking awesome it is. You do have to make a reservation to go into this area. Note to self. So if you want to. Note to self? You're talking to us. So it would be. Note to you. Take note, maybe? Note to self. To go to the pool, make that reservation. Our first drink, I got another day in paradise, I think is what this is called, and I have not tasted it yet. All right. Thanks, thanks for the update. Love it, the update was really good. This is called the Queen of the Rodeo. That's called Queen Elizabeth. Queen of the Rodeo. Queen of the, you got that one too? So, Brittany Mara. Yeah. Oh, we did. You like she hates them. And then sun kissed mama over there with her water. Why is she drinking water? She just admitted she was drinking White Claw while pumping boob milk. That's weird. And then we've got Prego here. She's pre is her name Prego? And mine is from. She's got the virgin virgin version. Oh, Kara! Good one! The pregnant girl's not a virgin? <laughs> you guys! How are you not on tour with like the top comedians in the world? I'd watch it. No, I wouldn't. Nobody watches this. This is weird because this is the group here. So I think Kira is the one that's like, tries to be funny, but Jess Fam is the one that wants to be the center and Jess Fam thinks she's funny. But then Hannah's like the one that's like, who's Hannah? She doesn't even go here. Hannah's just kind of came along and they didn't invite her. I don't know who the, the pregnant, not pregnant one is. And I don't know where her husband is. Then you got Sunkissed, who's like the one that everybody knows is a weirdo, right? Who's just sucking up to Jess. They don't like her because she's just trying to be in Jess's world and they don't accept her. Okay, then you got Jess who's, who's the center, but not really the center. And then Brittany Moore over there doesn't even know why she's here. She's like, I don't even go here. I don't even know what happened. I'm pretty sure I was kidnapped. So I don't know what's going on. It's a weird group of people. Okay, but nobody's funny in this circle. There's always a funny person in a circle and not one of these people is funny. So who's the funny one? Thank you. This is so bougie. We're really not this cool. We're just pretending to be. It's bougie because they have brass forks. You guys look bougie though. Good thing you dressed up in your baby daddy t-shirt over there, emo guy. It is cool for two hours. That looks gross. These white boots are a no for me. Zero no-go. I'll, I like Britney Morrow's boots though. If I'm gonna have to wear a pair of these boots, it's gonna be Britney's boots. I like those ones. We have been at oh. the white limousine for three hours. <laughs> <And> we're, <laughs> you have we're leaving. I did have oh, three. Is it three? Yeah. Uh, Shut up! It's four hours, dumbass. Stay in school, everybody. Even if you get pregnant as a teenager, please try to finish school. Okay? Please. Four hours. <laughs> Truth of it is that Tracy booked this, and I guess for like, I don't, I don't really know. Why don't she always like Tracy booked it, and then she looks for not even half of a second. You can't see anybody. Hey, she booked it. I think Tracy tries to tell people don't put me on camera a lot. I think that's honestly, I think so. No, but like for the amount of people we had, there was a minimum of five hundred dollar minimum, so we had to like eat that mm. much. Which for eight people, because we met two of our friends that live here in Nashville, for eight people it's not like that hard to do. But we did have a minimum, so we like sat here and kept eating and drinking until we hit that minimum. And because Tracy's paying for it, I would do the same. All the bacon wrap scallops you have, I don't think you heard me. All of them. I didn't mean like a bunch. Okay. Like Ron Swanson intensifies. All of them. I love Dolly Parton like the next person, but that shit's ugly. I'm sorry. 
I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. This is like every Instagrammer's dream in here. Like between the food, like, food and the place. And the out of focus camera, it's so good. And the decor, like everything is just Instagram worthy. Dude. Okay. Dude, Hannah. It's weird to me. Hannah looks in some ways she could be 20. And then if you look at her in a different angle, she's 78. That is, it's an enigma. It's really, really weird. Does anybody else get that weird vibe from Hannah? It's just, you know she's young. And one day, yeah, yeah, you're like, and all of a sudden you like see her and like, whoa, what just happened? It's like the witch from Tangled, the mom when she, 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 she falls out of the building and turns to dust. <laughs> Hannah just saved me. She Mother knows best. Right. A boot? Barn. Boot barn. Oh, oh, yeah, I see those too. We yeah, that wasn't a boot barn. That was a shoehorn. This is a boot barn. So Tracy, whatever your name is, wrong. Just got back to the Airbnb and I, these, I have to say, these are actually not as uncomfortable as I thought that they were going to be. They're pretty comfy. All you have to say is these are more comfortable than I thought. She's bad. It's something un needs to be rewired. I can't freaking get them off. <laughs> so she grabbed <laughs> a handy, handy no boy. To help me get them off. Can you hold this? They probably stole that from the shoe store. Yeah, it's like a thing, I guess. See, yeah, I'm All right. I would stand up. Stand up? Yeah. And I put my foot here. Yep. And then just like, you'll feel. I got to say this, though. Hannah is not like them. At all. Hannah, don't do a family vlog. Just save yourself. If you do a family vlog, <laughs> I will snark on it. Stop it. <gasps> Nice socks, weirdo. It works! I got it. Oh my god! Those are the socks you wear with. Okay. Tracy has one and Hannah has one. Can you imagine wearing those without socks? How stank they'd be. Woo! Look at our matching socks. Oh, oh my god! Did you buy them at the boot barn? No, but they're from boot barn. How, how is it that of all? Did you buy them from the boot barn? No, but they're from the boot barn. So the answer is yes. Socks, we happen to pick this one. Oh, holy <laughs> shit, get over the vlog! They came in clutch. Thanks, guys. Anyone else? Boots? Same. Okay. Oh, my shirt. Oh. Hey, girl. Except I can never step on it enough. Oh. There you go. <laughs> okay, it doesn't work for Kira. Of course, Kira can't get it right. <laughs> It's broken. Kira's that's broken. You're too fat. I ate too much bread. Oh, okay. <laughs> you ate too much bread, so you can't get your boots off. I get it. Heels. And my pants are really heavy. Wow. Okay, later than, later than evening, we decided to go out again. Later than evening. I decided to leave my camera at the Airbnb this time. Uh, What? That's already a red flag, by the way. We had a lot of fun and a great time until things took a turn for the worst. Holy. Yeah, they did. What happened to you? What the hell's going on here? Damn. Do you guys fall down a well or something? Okay, I didn't know if I wanted to talk about this. I think I stopped vlogging because um, we were just like talking and chit chatting and stuff. And we ended up deciding that we were going to walk like around. We're staying like super middle of downtown Nashville. Um, it's a really great location. Like you're It looks like she was like super drunk and had to get sober real quick. That's what it looks like to me right here. Or she just woke up or both. You're really close to everything. Um, we had something really scary happened last night and I, I I debated on if I would if I was even gonna talk about this because I didn't know if I don't know I just but after thinking about it more I think I do want to talk about it and just explain of course you do and good for us I guess and what happened last night because I never would have thought that this something like this could happen to me like <laughs> again why specifically you what happened it sounds like she's about to say that like they witnessed a murder or something. I have heard so many stories, like you hear on TikTok of things happening to girls that are out and never in a million years did I think that was going to happen to me. Sorry. So you hear on stories of other girls going out and something happening to them, but you wouldn't have, why? Why would it happen to you? You're out drinking and partying like everybody else too. Why would this not happen to you? 
And I feel like I need to put my voice out there, our voice out there, because it happened to... Oh, oh she's going to raise awareness. Okay, so I cannot wait to find out what she's raising awareness to. This is going to be good. Three of us last night of, like, just our experience and what exactly happened. We're... I, at least, am pretty traumatized by this, but... She's like almost crying there. She sounds super traumatized. So, okay. Last night, we... <laughs> I'm super traumatized. Let me just do my hair though. I'm so traumatized. Let me just get my shit done. You sound traumatized. If you're going to do a video where you're traumatized about something, have a sit down somewhere nice, relax, get a tea, and tell us a story. This is bullshit. You're not traumatized. Three of us, we, I'm not going to go into major details, but there's six of us total. And three of us went back to the hotel because one of the girls was like not feeling well. They took That's called alcohol poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> just getting insane. We're not feeling well. Okay. Her back, and the other three of us were like behind them. Um, quite like a quite a big of a difference. Like, so meaning they went back without you. Is that what you're telling us? Okay. Like a distance Got it. between Got it. us, so they took her home to the Airbnb, and the rest of us. What kind of statement was? They were a distance ahead of us. They went home. <laughs> what? We're walking slowly behind them, trying. Um, headed back towards the direction of the airbnb to give you more of like a like we're in nashville obviously um and we thanks we got it you're in nashville holy we had just left a bar it was 2 30 in the morning 2 30 wow holy shit our bar is open that late how can you drink until 2 30 in the morning how hammered were they on a tuesday night for contact tuesday the bars are open to 2 30 during covid on a Tuesday night. So the three of us were walking behind the rest of the girls. The rest of the girls had already probably made it back to their Airbnb, I think, by this ha t the time that this had happened. We are literally about three blocks from Broadway, which is like the big um, set, like street, and that's like where everything is in downtown Nashville. We've got like... Get to the story! Three streets to cross before we get back to our Airbnb. We cross one street and we come up on the second street. We're waiting for the light to turn green for us to like cross the street or whatever. At this point, the street that we're on is empty. There's not a single soul there, not a car, not a person. There's nothing there at this point in time. And this guy um, comes around the corner and he goes, and the, if you've ever been in like a big city and you see that they have like scooters and bikes and stuff, mm -hmm. that you can like rent. Um, well, there's a scooter that was right next to us. So he walked up to the scooter when he was like messing with the scooter, um, acting like he was gonna get on it. And he like briefly said something. He was like super sweet and he wasn't like invasive in our conversation. Like we were talking about something. He talked to us and we like briefly talked back to him. And Holy shit with the details that we don't need. Are you kidding me? And I just figured he was gonna do his thing, go on his merry way. He's messing with the scooter, our light turns green to walk in the direction that we're going back home. So we start crossing the street and this guy leaves the scooter that he was messing with. And he tells us, hey, I think you guys left something over there. And we were like, that's odd. And me and Kira looked at each other and we were like, Kira and I. I don't think we left anything over there. At this point it was me, Kira and Tracy, our manager. That was the three of us that so you got granny with you, she probably has a gun. Over there, said, I think you guys left something over there. And we're like, what are you talking about? I don't think we left anything over there. Um, but the fact that you said that made us want to go check. So okay, I, 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 let me recap this story for you guys for a second. All that shit she just told us could have been boiled down to this. Are you ready? We were walking home from a bar. Three of our party had already left and they were already back. And then this, we were walking by a scooter and this guy came up to check the scooter and we thought he was just checking it out. Had some nice things to say. We kept walking and said, hey, you looked like you left something here. And we were like weirded out at that point. What was the whole point of all that other shit? So we're in Nashville, right? And then there's like some streets, right? And then we walk like three blocks. And then there's two blocks. And there's another block. And then we were like, then it was like we were drunk. And then blocks. What the hell? She's terrible at this. So we were halfway across the crosswalk. We turn around and Tracy realized that he left the scooter and went to get in a car. So she's like. What? How does this make sense? This guy tells you. Wait. So. You were halfway across the crosswalk. He said, you forgot something while he's running away. You're going back. Okay. Why are you getting into the car when you were messing with the scooter? And I'm sitting there like embarrassed. Now I am so grateful she did that because she did the right thing. And she's calling out behavior that she's saying that was not right. What? But me, I'm a very like, it's a problem. Like I'm, I'm learning, but I was like, oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. Like he's just doing something. Like I totally gave him the benefit of the doubt. Like I thought he was just doing something going on or whatever. 
And she's like, that's not right. You were messing, why were you trying to mess with the scooter and then you get into a car, something's off here. And I didn't think anything of it, but the only, because she said that I turned around and I saw that he was in this large white, like SUV um, looking car. I'm terrible with cars. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not. That's a nice car. I'm not an observant person as it is. <laughs> Especially when it comes to your kids, that's for sure, right? So this whole situation, like... This music is, like, getting my blood going. I'm into the story right now. I need to hear what happens. Terrifies me even more because I feel like if I if things hadn't gone the way that they went, things would have ended really badly. Is she saying that they're, like, going to get murdered or something? Is that what she's honestly saying right now? But he, um, he goes and gets in the car and Tracy's like, what the fuck? And we turn around to go make sure that there was nothing yeah. there. And Kira and I were like, we didn't leave anything there. It was so weird. And so we turn back around and start crossing the street again. At that point, right when we turned around to cross the street again, we noticed that he, in that short amount of time of us turning around and walking back to our, where we were like standing, he flipped his car around super quick and parked in a parking garage to where you what? couldn't see his vehicle. We didn't know this yet. Um, you didn't know this yet, okay. But I saw him walking across the street in front of us. And I was like, you were just behind us and you were just in the car and now you're in front of us. And he crossed the street and walked over to Starbucks, which is closed. And and he kidnapped the R-Life's kids. Is this the same guy from that video? Stood in a like divot of where you would enter Starbucks. So you a divot? Like the entrance? Okay. You couldn't, okay. He, you couldn't be seen. The only reason we saw him is because we happened to turn around and watch him cross. He went into a place you couldn't be seen, but we saw him. Awesome. Got it. It's all here now. Got it. In the street. And at that point, we were like, that's not right. So we're walking towards him. Why are you walking towards the murderer again? Realized that wasn't right. And I'm like, we need to turn around. Yeah. He's not. Like, he's, I, I, I'm not, I don't want to overreact, but I think he might be following us. So. But he's ahead of you. Okay. The three of us turn around and I look over and I realize that the car that I had just seen was now parked. That's how I knew he flipped the car and he parked it into a parking garage that you couldn't see. We only saw because we turned around to head back home. So at this point, the details. Stop it. His car is here. He's hiding over here and there's nobody on this street. It's us three and him and maybe someone in the car. I don't know. That's the other murderer. And it's 2 30 in the morning. Like there's literally nobody there. At this point, I called Talia, who was back at. Uh, no, 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 no. If you're getting stalked by a murderer, why do you call Talia and not the police? Remember that one other vlogger who said she was in like a Michael's and she was getting stalked and her kids were getting kidnapped? She didn't call the police either. Nobody calls the police. Call the police. This is why I think she's lying. Why would you call Talia? Sun Kiss police officer gonna help you? What is she gonna do? Airbnb. And I didn't know what to do. You like put in a fight or flight situation. And I called Talia and I was like, hey, I see you. Yeah, no, I can see you over there. Wave your hand. Yeah, I can see you. Yeah. So fight or flight situation. So you call Talia. Neither one of those is fight or flight. That's just because there's three options. Fight, flight, or dumb. Just chooses dumb. I was trying to like loudly make it seem like there was someone else who was watching. She, and she, the poor soul had no idea. She was like, I, you don't see me. No, I'm not outside. But I didn't want to be like. Well, Talia's. You know, not the smartest, so... Okay. Like, pretend like you're, I mean, you can't say anything, and so I kept, like... I think Talia thought you were hammered, and you probably were super hammered. ...doing that, and she was like, do you need help? And I was like, yes. At this point, Kira calls Oscar. What? Okay, let me get this straight. There's a murderer stalking you downtown Nashville. Nobody's around. It's dark. It's scary. It's bacon, lettuce, tomato. So you call Talia... And then Kira calls Oscar in California or wherever they live. What's Oscar going to do? And she like tells... Call the police! That's why I don't believe this story. If you were honestly scared for your life, why would you not call the police? Him, like our address, where we're staying, where we're at, a brief situation of like what's going on. Um, so Talia at that point, she's like, go to a hotel, like go find somewhere around you. I look around and there's nothing. It's a fucking construction zone. Like there's construction zone literally nothing okay. here not a business oh, that's open not we, a business nothing not a hotel we're in the for lack of a sounds like she's in the middle of the forest a better phrase perfect spot to be murdered to have something done to us like we were very easy targets there's three of us we had been drinking we there it is we a lot 2 30 in the morning we know just fam and her parties 
know what I'm saying? It was dark, it was 2.30 in the morning in the middle of Nashville and there's nobody around us. We turn around and start walking the other way and I'm loudly on the phone and out of nowhere this waste management guy comes around the corner and he can tell, I think that something is off and he stopped and he rolled down his window and he's like, are you guys okay? And I was on the phone so I'm not even sure really what happened there, like we're still trying to put all of our stories together to figure out like, and I'm loudly on the phone and out of nowhere... <laughs> <laughs> where this waste management guy comes around the corner and he can tell I think that something is off. And I thought there was nobody there. He stopped and he rolled down his window and he's like, are you guys okay? So, I don't know what happened to my forehead. Waste management guy comes in at 2.30 in the morning in downtown Nashville? Okay. And I was on the phone, so I'm not even sure really what happened there. Like, we're still trying to put all of our stories together to figure out, like, what did really happen. We're still trying to get this shit together so it sounds real. <laughs> but Kira was, like, telling him, like, I, I know I'm not totally sober, but, like, I feel like this is an unsafe situation. <laughs> I know I'm plastered beyond anything, but I'm pretty sure there's some people over there standing. Okay. All right, well, have a good day. And he's like, I've been watching you guys, and I see the guy that you're talking about, and I don't think you're in a safe situation. I'm calling the police. Yes, which you should have done. Thank God for this waste management guy. At this point, um, I start freaking out. I'm not good in, in a fight or flight situation. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the understatement of the century. Chess fam's not good in a fight or flight situation. And she's drunk and wearing new cowboy boots, so she's probably going to... You'd be dead. That's why you shouldn't post your shit online, Jess. You've already been stalked more than once. Learn your lesson. Tracy calls an Uber, and I'm sitting there like, we're not going to sit here and fucking wait for an Uber. Like, we need to walk back to Broadway. Okay, there's a garbage truck guy there, so just have him. Can you just wait here for five minutes while our Uber gets here? Maybe we can hop in the back of the garbage truck where we belong anyway and give us a ride back to the house. Way, which is the busy street. See what I did there? I called them trash. Burn. And go find a place where there's people. We can't just sit here. The guy's still hiding. As this is going down, I see the guy come out of Starbucks and start walking towards us. I thought Starbucks was closed. What? I don't. I. I, I get that she's trying to make this all whatever, but it's none of this shit's making sense anymore. It sounds a lot like a lie. Mind you, it's still the three of us, the one guy, and now just this one guy that's in a car. So four of you against one of him. Okay. And it sounds like a garbage truck guy. Probably has a lot of cool looking weapons in there. Talking to us. And he's in a company truck. Like it's a company truck talking to us. And, and now looking back, I'm like, how, how do we even know to trust the guy that we're talking to? So that's something to take note of. This guy. They could be in cahoots. To ask for your autograph. Really was legit. And I'm so thankful for him. But in the future, like don't just trust anyone who comes up and tries to help you. Um, he was helpful. But just think of that. Like don't get in a car with, I don't know. I'm just like fucking processing this. So, wow. It sounds like she's processing this, but this is the next day. Tracy calls an Uber. She's like, the Uber's coming, the Uber's coming. And I'm like, the Uber's not fucking here. I'm not gonna fucking wait. We need to. Where are you gonna go, Jess? You're gonna run your drunk ass, freaking cowboy booted f ass down the street? Where are you gonna go? walk this way people over here the guy comes out from starbucks and starts walking towards us he gets closer to us and at this point we're a crosswalk away so we're on this side of the crosswalk and he's on this side of the crosswalk and i noticed that he's on the phone and he's like talking either pretending to be on the phone or actually on the phone maybe he's talking to some kiss mama hey i can see you too yeah no i see you your ripped jeans and shit cool you, you dropped your breast pump mm -hmm. i got it here no i was using it for other things with god knows who so he's talking on the phone and i'm freaking out i'm like we need to freaking go at one point i even started walking away and tally is like don't separate from them and i'm like fuck you're what? right so i'm like we're all good. did you just say you walked away from the other two people <laughs> just <me. laughs> i don't have to outrun the bad guy i just have to outrun these two <laughs> girls bye <laughs> Yes, ma'am, that's awesome. Gonna die today. We're gonna sit in this fucking spot. And I think this all happened really quickly, but it felt like it took forever. Why would you ever put yourself in this position? You have you guys are all wealthy. We agencies there, they could have sprung for the cab or the or the whatever. Don't walk alone, even me. Even I wouldn't walk alone at 2 30 in the middle of the night in a city I was I had no idea about. Even I wouldn't. I'm not saying this isn't a victim blame mentality type of thing, but don't do stupid shit, right? What? Uh, when he was on the other side of the crosswalk, I started crying. I'm like freaking out on the phone with Talia. Talia's like, 
We need to find someone. And I'm like, I know. None of you filmed this. I freaking doubt it. I, you know why I don't believe it? It's because, again, these people film everything. Everything. Their kids getting hurt. Everything. They film themselves going to, to put their shoes on to go to Walmart. They film everything. Five, six vloggers in this space. Not one person pulls out a camera. I can't believe it. That's, I just don't believe it. So I was trying to pull Kira and Tracy with me, like to walk towards where someone was and they weren't walking. And I remember feeling so frustrated because I wasn't listening to their conversation and they like were doing. It sounds like Jess fam is on an island here. This is what this sounds like. She is overreacting, freaking out. And they, they, it sounds like those two aren't right. It sounds like Jess sees some danger that they're not seeing. Or is it because Jess is highly emotional and now she's highly drunk and emotional just saying it sounds like those other two weren't taking it very seriously and jess is uh, is making this a, is a molehill into a mountain that's what it sounds like to me something helpful but in my, where i was at that point i was like this is where my this truth was they were murderers their truth was they were they were laughing and giggling. Really standing here waiting to be a target. He's right there. And so I started crying. I'm like, they're not listening to me. Like, we're just standing here. This shit's a lie. I'm, I'm calling it now. I don't care. It's a lie. But by the time he walked up and was at the crosswalk and on the phone, that's pretty much the exact timing that the police got there. They got there super fast. Okay. So they started walking towards us. She's making this sound like it took an hour. This looks... sound. It's like... By this time, you've been murdered and thrown in a dumpster. It sounds like it. What were you doing for this? For the amount of time, did it take the cop thirty seconds to get there? Did it take the cop five or six, ten minutes to get there? And at that point in time, this guy who's stalking you is he just slowly walking towards you for the next last ten minutes? What? What, what, what do you think he's going to do? I want to, I'm, I'm interested now. And it wasn't until the police were walking towards us that yeah. the guy on the other side of the street, he saw them. Yeah. And he turned around and he walked the other way. Before that, he was just saying. So that's clear cut evidence and proof. He was a straight murderer. <laughs> Come on, are you kidding me? <laughs> and you're waiting. At that point, the police. Maybe he's trying to sell you drugs. Probably thought you guys were like easy targets to sell drugs. Hey, you guys want some weed? Could have been that. You don't know. I don't understand why the why these vloggers, our life did this, the other guy who might go to jail for it. They make up these in elaborate, insane stories without any evidence of it at all. Zero. They just think it was in their heads. And she's admitting that she's plastered beyond plastered. And so are the other two. Okay. And she's just saying that he just turned around and walked the other way. How do you know what his intentions were? What? Because the garbage truck guy who uh, who clearly wasn't going to help you either was like, I think he's a bad guy. What what evidence do you guys have? Again, what do you think? What is he just looking for an autograph or something? I don't. And then they turn into a story like this and get and get paid for it. They get paid big bucks for this story. Came up to us and they were like, what's going on? We explained them what's going on. And he's like, you need to get in an Uber. And he was really sweet because he, um, he and he had a good point. I didn't realize this until he said it. He's like, I know that this guy is helping you, but how do you really know that he's not involved with mm -hmm. whatever's going on? And I was like, fuck, I didn't even think about that. Like, I didn't even think about Murder alert. Murder alert. And this guy was legit, but. How do you know he was legit? <laughs> Again, what is she saying? You don't know this guy's intentions. The cop says, how do you know this guy's in that murder? Oh, you're right, but he's legit. How do you know he's legit? What are you saying here? Nobody listen to Just Fam ever when it comes to emergency situations ever. Please, okay? Please don't. He could have not been, so just remember that. He's like, you need to get into the Uber that you call. What if the cop was like a Dexter-style person and that cop was a murderer? You don't know anything. Could have been. It's, it's happened before. I'll verify that that's the Uber and you need to tell him to wrap around, um, like drive around before he drops you off. Like at least three times. I know what's happening right now. This is a huge conspiracy with Uber to make more money. Hey, the cops in on it. The guy did the, the, the garbage truck guys in it. There's like all these people that were never around. All of a sudden everybody's around. This is a huge conspiracy for Uber. That Uber guy just made an extra 10 bucks because he had to drive around more. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but that makes sense. 
cancel Uber. You need to drive in different areas before you drop us off. And we're like, okay, thank you so much. We get in the Uber, um, the guy leaves, the other guy leaves. And uh, I actually never saw him get back in the car. I don't even know. I think I was just like freaking out. I'm not good. Sounds like you were super emotionally drunk and sounds like this is what you do when you're drunk. It's that's what I'm saying. That's what I think. I honestly believe that that's what's going on right now. And that you're not saying that the other two are freaking out. They're not doing any of this stuff. You are. Only you are freaking out. In a fight or flight situation, clearly. And so we There was no fight or flight situation. There was a drunk ass party of three downtown at 2.30 in the middle of the night. There was no fight or flight situation. Again, when you are inebriated beyond the point, and we know that they were inebriated because she was putting videos out about it. You have your fight or flight shit, that's gone. Like, that's... You don't have a fight or flight instinct when you're when you're plastered. I don't think. Not really. I don't think. People who are drunk are dumb as shit, man. They don't. They're not aware of anything around. They're like, oh, I love you, man. Like, hugging strangers with knives in their pockets and shit. There's just no. Get into the Uber and we asked the Uber driver, like, can you please? The Uber driver was like a little annoyed, but I think he could tell by the way we were talking because I was still on the phone with Talia and. Uh, Kira was on the phone with Oscar and we were like kind of decompressing what the fuck just happened and then he could. Decomposing. I tell that like we weren't just like drunk and fucking around like something actually was going down. So he took us and he drove us around the area a few times before he dropped us off. And Better tip that guy. And when he dropped us off, Kira and I like walked past where we were staying, okay. and then we walked like back again to like make. It's the FBI. Sure that we no one saw us just like get dropped. No one saw us. They didn't saw you, Jess. They didn't saw you. Good, you're safe. Again, the guy's probably just honestly trying to sell you weed or hit on you. Maybe, maybe thought. For, for whatever reason, maybe thought you were good looking. Maybe? I doubt it, but maybe. Probably trying to sell you drugs. Could have been a murderer, too. I'm not saying he wasn't a murderer. Could have totally been a murderer. But if, okay, here's the thing. If a family vlogger is ever kidnapped by a murderer, all you have to say is, do you know who I am? <laughs> I have a family vlog. People are going to be looking for me. <laughs> I know that's so morbid, but I'm just saying. You imagine being the guy that kidnaps a family like shit. I kidnapped Jess fam. Damn it! <laughs> and then now know where we're staying. Once we got inside, it was like I don't know, three a.m. or something. And um, at that point, we three a.m. Yeah, sounds like you guys were out just enjoying the sights, not hammered beyond recognition. We were all together, like decompressing everything. Talia and I stop saying decompressing. That's not yeah. The word you're using doesn't make sense to what you're saying. Actually ended up staying. We didn't feel comfortable going to sleep until the sun came up. So we stayed up until 530 in the morning until we saw all the street. Till we saw all the lights. Lights turn off and everybody's going to work in the place across from us. Stay in school. Like there's people in it. And that's when we finally like went to sleep. I am. Holy shit. Sounds like you shouldn't be taking Adderall with alcohol. That's what it sounds like. Sounds like you're paranoid AF. I'm low key traumatized. High key traumatized. I think the more I'm like. High key traumatized. Sounds like it. Straight my hair. I'm so traumatized right now. Hmm. Thinking about it and processing it, the more I realize the severity of the situation. I think that that something. There was no severity of any situation. You have no proof of anything. You have no proof this guy was out for bad blood or doing anything wrong. You have no idea. But you just assumed it was a murderer. And what? What? I wish I. <laughs> Man, selling the story though. I get it. Really, really fucking bad would have happened if something didn't go. Like if Tracy hadn't called him out and if I hadn't seen him cross the street. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm not okay. I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay. I'm not though. He's I'm sad. not. He's sound okay. I'm okay. So, um, I. Where's everybody else? Why don't you guys all sit down and be like, let's tell the story together. It's this amazing story. You just went in the bathroom and told the story. Where is everybody? I hope that someone out there is like helped by this. I never. I'm going to bring awareness to not getting drunk and walking downtown at three o'clock in the morning. Be aware. A million years thought that this, like you hear stories. About That's because it's never going to happen in a million years. It was, it, you were drunk and you're an emotional person who loves confrontation. You're paranoid. You, that is, you're saying it like that was it, that you were going to get murdered. And get, nothing. There's nothing there. It's such a weird discombobulated story because then a guy from the garbage department shows up and then doesn't, you know, is there, but not there and then there. And then 10 minutes goes by and then your Uber shows up and the cop is like, what, what? This, but fuck, it's real. Sorry. I'm trying to get ready to go. I'm like the last one to get ready, but we are going to go. They're all like waiting for Jess and she's up in the bathroom telling her story. Back out. This is the first time we're going out. Um, obviously it's like the middle of the day and stuff. I kind of want to backtrack everything and decompress from what happened and see. 
he like where exactly he was. Like, we're gonna, it's literally around the corner from where we're staying. She gonna we show still us? Have another day here. I low key am like. High key, you're high key. Do we go to a hotel? Like, do we stay here? I don't know. I'm still mumble jumbled, but we are starving. We haven't eaten it. That's because you're lying. Anything. We didn't eat dinner last night. We just like walked around and kind of talked and stuff. And they. So you're walking around, you hadn't eaten for hours and hours and hours. You're full of booze. Perfect recipe for being a bunch of dingleberries. We are all waiting. Maybe the guy thought you were going to murder him. For me. So. Oh my God, spicy, right? Like spicy. <laughs> Just fam's videos. Here's a murder story. Hey, these are spicy cheese balls. Are you happy? You're so happy after you almost got murdered, though? Okay. <laughs> you sound so traumatized. I don't like it again when they use terms like that. I'm like, I'm so traumatized, and now you're laughing by eating cheese balls. Says, you're not traumatized. Stop saying that. So ridiculous. We found this place called Butt Kiss. Butt Kiss? I pretty much ordered everything on the menu. Everything. Because when you have to. Where's everybody else? They totally bailed on them. Eat dinner or breakfast. Can you just not eat on camera? Yeah, and yesterday I feel like we just had snacks at that place. Callie and I didn't go to bed until 5.30 a.m. And then we slept till 12.30 and now everything's closed for breakfast. Now it's three. Um, now it's three. We did see an epic sunrise though. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. There was a sky. We saw the sky downtown. It was epic sky. Sky was epic. Says the person from Hawaii. <laughs> Yeah, and it was like right when you looked down the street, the sun was just there. There was like the sun, it was the sun, it was, we stared at it for a while. I can't see anymore, but it was beautiful at the time. We were just hanging out the window, like, like actually hanging out the window. Update. Okay, this is the bus, this is the drunk bus that they got on, that they were stalked by the fans. I wonder if she shows it. This is happening. We saw this on TikTok. We saw it. Stock? On the, like when we were playing our trip here, and then it went from being a funny TikTok to actually doing it. To being we were stalked by the people. This is crazy because she just sat down in a bathroom. This act, this is amazing, right? Well, she almost got murdered. I don't know what we're looking at here in the top right, but um, we almost got murdered. And then the next day, they go to the drunk bus, and stalkers come up to them, and she's like, "Hi, everybody, let's hug." That's why I don't believe anything she just said. If she just had a traumatizing moment. And the next day, not not even less than 12 hours later, more stalkers approach her and she's all happy about it. Uh uh. If you had a traumatizing moment and then people that you didn't know approached you the next day, not 12 hours later, you're gonna be like, hey, I, you know, thanks, but no thanks is what you're gonna do. So I don't believe anything she says. What are we watching here? That's gotta be Kira. How often do you think that hub hot tub water has been changed? <laughs> just, just saying. They're going through traffic. How, okay, how egotistical and how narcissistic do you have to be to rent an open air hot tub bus, dress in a bikini and get drunk on a bus in traffic? Does that, is that appealing to people? Is it? I, it's not appealing to me. But again, you guys know I'm vanilla. I'm a loser. Oh, don't do that, please. Why would you do that? Stop bouncing around. Why lie we what did that say? Why lie need weed? Oh, okay, so he's saying I need weed. Okay. How do you not just cringe with embarrassment when you're editing this? And she probably only put the best footage of that in there. I would be like, cringe of myself. Look, I know I'm all shapes as well. So that's why I don't do this. Cool? Okay, I didn't bring my camera because I'm trying to like not have a lot of stuff. But we're Okay. Camera's like this big. First of all, and you didn't bring your camera the night before you almost just got murdered and now you're gonna go out again and do the same shit and you're not gonna bring a camera? Okay. We're walking to go get something to eat and we like walked past the spot that everything happened last night. You went back to the spot at night of the murder place. You went back there. You're so traumatized right now. The trauma is, is the trauma is like fiery. 
and I could just feel the trauma wind. I was just telling the other girls who were not with us where exactly everything was. And so they're like, yeah, we didn't believe her either. For last night, as you can see, it's very lively right now. It's 10 p.m. right now. This is where we were sitting, yeah? You're telling me this very open pub. I'm, I, in my mind, I'm imagining like a back street between like, you know, built like... You know what I'm saying? Like dirtier back streets, not very lively. This is a really, really, really wide open area. It's probably cameras everywhere, by the way. That's why I also don't believe her. By a bank? You don't think that bank has cameras? Mm -hmm. This is where we were sitting. Scooter was here. You're telling me a, a, a murderer is going to go out in public like this outside of a bank that absolutely has cameras and is going to murder people. White car was here. This is the crosswalk. We crossed right here. He said that we forgot something. I absolutely don't believe her anymore at all either. No, I don't believe her at all. He was standing right here. We went back over here to see if he forgot something. We turned back around and started crossing the street. Car was gone. Car went around the corner into the parking lot right there where it says public parking. I don't know if you can see it. We see it. Public parking. That's where he was. You're telling me not one person was on this absolutely crazy busy area. I don't believe you. At, and from there, we have walked up to that place. We had, for some reason, crossed, and I can't really remember why we crossed over here because our. Because you didn't. You're lying. Maybe is that. Way. Also, you were drunk. But we so she's just lying. She's like, I don't know why we crossed over. You didn't. Why would you? You're right. Why would you? I think we felt. I think we saw him crossing or something. We crossed the street over. <laughs> Sounds like you decompressed it really well. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. This is, you guys see through, are you believe in this shit? Here and he's hiding in Starbucks. He was hiding in the Starbucks thing, which is right there. You can see the sign. That's where he went and hid inside of the egg dead. So. So he's like a half kilometer away. All right. Across here, we were walking this way. That's. So let me get this straight. You see him half a kilometer past the parking in that Starbucks over there. You see him. So you cross and then go right towards the Starbucks when your Airbnb is the opposite way? Make it make sense. All you had to do was not cross, take a left towards your Airbnb, and you wouldn't have come anywhere near that guy. If he's, why are you walking towards him if your Airbnb's to the left? Guys, I'm a lawyer now. Okay. When I turn this way, saw the court. In a court of law, she, she would be laughed out of the court of law. It's like, oh my God. Everything you said's a lie. So bye, drunkard. Here, turn back around. Oh, nice Tesla. That's a Model S. Back. P90. This way. This is the other crosswalk. S we crossed here to go the opposite direction. And the waste management guy came around the corner, stopped right here. We talked. Why are you on that side of the road when your Airbnb is the opposite way? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. To him right here. And that's when he came out of Starbucks, crossed back this way, and was waiting right here and talking on the phone. And we were right here. And that's when I started freaking out. And I said, I'm leaving to Broadway, which is that street. So you can see, I don't know how well you can tell, but that's, that is the main street. So that's where everything is. And we were in the middle of nowhere. As you can see. This is not the middle of nowhere, Jess. It's downtown of a city. There's no really businesses here. Like this is, I don't even know. It's, it's a closed, bank. here. And it was 2.30 in the morning. This is the middle of nowhere. To Jess. This is what she calls the middle of nowhere. Have you ever been anywhere in Canada? Clearly not. But we were literally standing here. There's nothing. We get it. You were literally standing. Nothing around anywhere. There was a building that was over here that had lights on, but there was nobody in it. This is. How do you know there was nobody in it? We met the guy. The cops ended up coming and meeting us right there. And well, actually, no, they parked there and walked over to us because we were standing. Right Story changes every 13 seconds. Here and we eventually. No, no, we were here. Okay, no, I think they went. We went to the moon as well. We went to the moon. Yeah, and then we went to, we were over in Mordor, and we were like, ooh, this is kind of smelly, and it's really cold, and there's like goblins and shit. Then we left Mordor, we came back, and then there was a scooter. No, wait, the scooter was an alien, and then the alien left, because you were like, you guys are smelly. And then, I don't know, stories! We got into the Uber, which was like, right here. So, just so you can visualize what happened. Yeah, we visualized nothing. You, you Nope. You told us that the Airbnb was the left. You could have just taken a left and gone down, right? That's what you told us. And, in, and why are you staying on the block that's nowhere near it? When you could have just taken a left and walked... That guy was so far away in the Starbucks thing. If you would have just taken a left, there's no way he would have caught up to you. But and then you could have called the police like you should have done. This is the first encounter right here. Was the first place that we had the first encounter with the guy. Are you allowed to be drinking in public? Is that against the law in Nashville? I don't know. Let me just Google it real quick. Can we Google it? Google it. Can you drink in public in Nashville? Drinking in the streets, Nashville. You can in certain parts of downtown. You'll be able to carry alcohol on Fifth Avenue between Korean Veterans Boulevard and Domin the Music City Center, Country Music Hall of Fame, and the Omni. So they're not anywhere near that. 
alcohol to go is banned under state law. Uh, Talia, you're like totes breaking the law right now, family vlogger. Visualize what happened, but and she's not even hiding it. This is the first. She's literally, that's a white claw. I know it's a white claw because that's all these ladies drink. She's drinking in public. That's against the law. Way to go. So we had the first encounter with the guy and he came from here, walked to the scooter. Okay. I had PTSD from standing here. She has PTSD from standing here. Just stop it. You don't just throw words like PTSD around because that shit is real. There's probably a lot of military families that watch you. There's a lot of military families that watch me. I know that my girl... Be, uh, Beaver's unit, her husband's military. You can't just throw this shit around PTSD because you were drunk on a corner of a street somewhere and then you just throw that term around. Stop doing that stuff, guys, please. That term specifically, don't do it. Oh, like you look around and you're like, how did that happen? Yeah, it's weird. Like, this is yeah, that's exactly what I asked. That's what everybody's asking. How did it happen here? It didn't. That's how. It didn't happen here. Because it's like the busiest place in the world. Where the scooter was, right? Here. Taking, did you hear the musician? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. like, no. She's really into that song. <laughs> <laughs> You're dumb. Cold hand, frozen feet, raindrops falling on the street. She made that shit when she opened up this video sound like. Literally, she escaped the jaws of death by a millimeter. Like the guy was about to stab her, and the cop blew him up. <laughs> Get off! Run! That's what she made this shit sound like. I can't recall when I last saw the sun. Summer's just a memory. A faded piece of history. No one can remember. It's Tex Mex. They gotta have food, right? I'm not even from anywhere in the U.S. and I know Tex-Mex is food. It's Texaco, Mexico. Texas food and Mexican food, right? Right? Uh, like, all you care about is food. I get it. That's why I travel. It's the worst vlog in the world. Isn't this during COVID as well? How long has Nashville been without masks? Holy cow. Has the South really been like back to normal for years right now? That's, I'm, I'm actually mind blown. There's the murder. I see him down in that park down there. Run, Jess, run! Maybe he's flying behind you in the clouds. That's more that's more believable than anything she said. Yeah, yellow. I could never live in a state that is straight yellow. Couldn't do it. At least in Canada, yeah, we're like white for half the year because we've got snow everywhere. But in the summers, our greenery is just lush and gorgeous. Is California like this all year? Like yellow? In like Arizona, yellow? I couldn't be yellow. I would be depressed. It's Chris. Chris Amos was murdered. No, you weren't. Let's get in the car. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. In and out closes an hour. <laughs> Wait till you hear the story I made up. Oh, it's so hot here. Oh, thank you. Can we get food? <laughs> I already have uh, a reservation for Texas first. Oh, you just went to Tex Mex, Jess. She sh I just went to Tex Mex. God, I fucking love you. Oh, Texas Roadhouse. Oh, I am so, dude. It dude. I, I didn't even vlog any of it. I put it all on Instagram. I almost missed my connecting flight because my first flight was like two hours long. If you follow me on Instagram, two hours long, two hours late. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already saw this. Make sure you're following me on Instagram Don't. if you're not already. But as you can tell, my voice is gone. So this is the end of the video. This is it. This is the end. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. We didn't enjoy it. Oh, that's assault. I'm calling the same police officer you called. Wow, that was fun. <laughs> it was the most shitty story. Lies upon lies. Look, I don't I don't think that she doesn't think it happened. I just think that she's leaving out a whole shit ton of that story. There's two other witnesses. She doesn't get any of them on camera to tell their side of the story whatsoever. None, none. It's, she made it sound like it was so dangerous and scary, but didn't corroborate it with anybody. Those, Kira didn't put it on her vlog. Oh, maybe she did. I guess we'll have to go find out. Like, the other old lady didn't put... Oh, she doesn't have a vlog. She just runs vlogs. So, I, I don't believe any of that bullshit. Such a lie. Cops, like, probably getting there. You guys are just drunk. Just go home.
No investigation, really. You you made it sound like you were so dead serious. This guy's gonna murder you. And like, I hope that helped people. I hope it helped. Did it help? It helped nobody. Here's the answer, everybody. If you are in a city, even if you do know the city, don't walk around in the middle of the night by yourselves oh, at all. Just call an Uber. Sure, I understand. Sorry. So take a deep breath. That was snarktastic. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Today. I felt good about that one, right? Calling out the lies and the bullshit. Ugh. I'm going to go see if Kira had a Nashville story. I'm going to see her side of it. I want to see if she covers it, too. That'll be tomorrow. You're valuable. Gorgeous. And you do look good in that tube top. And that, those cowboy boots. You do. I'll see you tomorrow.